Downtown Evanston has transformed itself into a showcase of all types of original art. The Evanston Art and Big Fork Festival is going on this weekend. Amy Arbiter for the festival is here with us today. Amy, welcome. Thank you so much. You have so many different pieces of art here, and this is a tradition. How long has this been going on? This is the 10th year of this festival, and it takes place in downtown Evanston yeah. on the closed streets, Sherman and Church. It's really amazing to go out and see what, because we're really talking about our neighbors who are artists as well, kind of coming out and showing us what they've been able to produce over the last year. Absolutely. We have Ev Evanston artists. We have people from all over the country coming in, too. So we have many things here. Uh, we have we have actual pieces of furniture, this, this lamp. Let's start there. So we have all kinds of art at the show, including right. functional art. So these are pieces of art that you can actually use, like these lamps, the candle holders, and the salt Some and peppers. shakers. This is, this is so really that's, amazing. It's made by the hands of the artist completely. Yeah. And then we, we move on to some actual wearable art. Yeah, so wearable art is fun too. And this is by Meg Music. She's a Chicago artist. And this she makes the hats and she makes a bag. You can slide your hat right in and carry it as a backpack. And you actually have some of the I'm art wearing, on yourself. I am. This is an emerging Chicago designer, Heidi Hess. Okay. And some jewelry by another artist, Renata Makata. And they're all at the show and many of them are demonstrating their art making so you can yeah. come see see the art being made in person a lot of people don't like you you buy some jewelry but a lot of people don't consider jewelry to be art but it really is an art form it is an art form and it's nice you can wear it and um, but art can also be you know we have traditional art for the walls as sure. you see here this is an evanston artist mina singh All and right. this is gold leaf she actually that applies gold leaf on the piece uh, and then we have some glass work here mm -hmm. this is um hot glass so this is actually blown through a long tube okay and um, you can see the flowers. This is Robert Legaste showing a number of different pieces. Great, great for the house, great for gifts. And then I see this, and this would be great for a bicyclist, I mm -hmm. think, right? Yeah, this is called up upcycling. So there are parts that would otherwise be thrown away right. that artists are now transforming. So this is Annette Fischelli, a Chicago artist, and she's making these clocks out of the gears. And then I, my eyes are drawn to this piece of pop art because mm -hmm. you're using so many different things in this piece of art. Yeah. This is um, an emerging artist. Yeah. Her name is uh, Lara Venema. And you can see the cans and is the rollers. Yeah, I see that. And um, what, what we're asking, what is it? It's actually an old telephone. And that piece <laughs> has a disc in the middle. And you'll see a lot of her art. And something special at the show, this is a very family-friendly show. Yeah. And a lot of artists have opted in to do, you can see this handprint in front of me sure. right down there. Mm -hmm. And that's a kids art stop. So kids art stops are yeah. places that you can bring the kids into the booth and the artist is ready and welcoming to kids and talking about the art in a I, simplified way. That's such a great idea because so many times, you know, the adults take the kids to the art festival and it's kind of boring for them. Yeah. But if they get to do something, oh, then it makes have, it worth it. We have face painting, we have art fest bingo for kids. We have food trucks, we have two, two live music stages. Uh, so there's really something for everybody. And All right. Wheel, Amy, wheel friendly. Let's show the folks at home, Amy, how they can become a part of this. It's happening today and tomorrow from 10 to 5, uh, downtown Evanston. You can find more information. We have a link set up at WGNTV.com. If you're not able to do armorproductions.com slash event slash 2023-Evanston-Art-And-Dash big dash fork. So you can just point your browser. We'll put a link to WGNTV.com. Otherwise, they can go to Sherman and Church Streets today and tomorrow. That's probably the easiest way, yes? Absolutely, and it's free. It's free festival. And it's free. Wonderful. Amy, thank you so much for joining us.